Raz is glad you made it. He was about to proceed without you. Now remember, we need to be stealthy. The fewer guards that notice us, the fewer guards we'll have to kill, yes? Mercenaries, actually. In addition to gates and walls, Mzum hired the Red Hands to patrol his land. They're not the type to ask questions before they try to kill you. Best to slip in unseen. Ledgers, documents, contracts, anything that proves that Mizum bribed the farmhands. Or perhaps we will grow lucky and find a journal. Over the years, Raz has discovered that many villains enjoy documenting their nefarious plans. One more thing. Try to avoid unnecessary murder, yes? Not that the Red Hands deserve mercy, of course. But any messes you make, Raz will need to clean up. And Raz is on vacation. Besides, Mother wouldn't take kindly to killing the neighbors. Lead the way, Five Claw, but be stealthy. Raz will be right behind you. It's likely the mercenaries stick to regular patrol patterns. We can take advantage of that if we're observant. Just watch where they go and which direction they look. And if you spot a place to hide, use it. <laughs> Mercenaries from Pelletine. Clawless thugs who will do anything for a price. Thievery, kidnapping, even murder. They also deal in the slave trade. Mizum must be truly desperate to hire them. First, Muzum loses moon sugar. Now his farmers won't work. What nonsense. There is something out there, Muzum. Some sort of beast. Bah! A beast? This one sees no beast. All he sees are lazy Khajiit who make up foolish lies. The farmers of Maryvale are no strangers to beasts. What could have scared Muzum's workers this badly? This creature was attacked by something unnatural. That much is clear.
So, Moon Sugar disappears from Mizum stores as well. Let's return to Mother's farm and discuss what we learned. I call the guards and they're on their way. Old Mizum is dealing with missing moon sugar, scared farmhands, and a mysterious beast. Perhaps he and mother suffer the same problem, yes? A creature prowls the sugarcane fields. Something far deadlier than a terror bird. If this is true, then Raz fears the missing farmhands reside in the belly of this beast. And so will many others, if we don't put a stop to it. You must visit Honeybree's homestead, another moon sugar farm in the valley. If Raz is right, Jadolthol will be suffering from the same problem as Mizum and Mother. The farmstead is just across the bridge, on the southern side of the valley. In the meantime, Raz will try to convince his family to stay out of the fields. Perhaps they will be reasonable today. That would be a welcome change, yes? Anything that proves this beast exists. Corpses, tracks, strange residue. With luck, Jadolfo will have even seen this creature. Him or one of his three lovely daughters. Ah, Jadolfo's daughters. Raz wonders if they still remember him. Does Raz seem like the type to kiss and tell? Well, not while sober, at least. <laughs> hmm. Now that this one thinks about it, he may not have left things on the best footing in regards to the daughters, particularly when it comes to certain promises. Raz admits to succumbing to the folly of youth in his younger days, though after so many years this one assumes they have forgotten about such things. Your mother sends you to find our missing farmhands, and this is where you end up? Our house? We already searched Mizum's plantation. Raz came back to warn you about... Excuses! And this one thought you learned more in your travels than which tavern served the cheapest ale. You better go, Five Claw. This may take some time. Cornered Jadathal, chased his daughters into the field. You have to help them. 
A monster! I heard it! It roared loud enough for Alkos to hear. I ran, but the noise must have startled the local animals as well. A lion nearly took my arm! Please, you must help Jadathal. He is hiding just ahead. Quickly, go on ahead and find Jadothal. Raz will help our friend here. above, let Jadothal's family be safe. Please, please, Jadothal begs. You must rescue his three daughters from that horrid beast. They should just be west of here up the path. You must find them before that monster does. Jadothal was only able to catch a glimpse of it as he ran. But what he saw was unnatural. It was an enormous beast. With a mouthful of fangs and a thick leathery hide. Oh, why has such a thing come to our peaceful home? Have you seen my father, Jadothal? I've been searching for him, but I wasn't able to make it very far. Thank the moons. Uh, and have you possibly seen my two sisters? I seek them as well. Then I must ask you to find them and ensure their safety as you have ensured mine. For now, I will make my way back to my father. Ah, the beautiful Banji. It is good to see you alive and well. At last you have returned to me. Oh, I knew you would keep your promise. Ah, yes. Raz is keeping his promise, of course. By the moons, you have to help me. A monster attacked our farm. My father ran, but I do not know what became of him. Oh, thank goodness. Have you seen my two sisters as well? We separated in our panic and I fear for their safety. Oh, I'm happy to hear that, but I'm still worried about my remaining sister. Please, could you find her? Preferably before that monster does. Raz! You're here? Of course. You are safe now, sweet Nura. Raz will get you to safety. <laughs> the two of us behind the mill reminds me of old times, old promises. Uh, let's talk about that later. <laughs> Much later.
bees should thank the moons that they found me without my bow. I'd make quick work of them if I had it on hand. Have you seen my father, by chance? He's a kind man, but not very quick. I fear he may have come to harm. Of course, I'll make sure he stays safe. Have you also seen my sisters? I tried my best to lead them to safety, but they scattered in their panic. That's good to hear. I was going to seek them out myself, but the monster is still close by. I didn't wish to attract its attention. I've hunted in Merryvale all my life, but never have I seen a creature like this. Large and leathery, with glowing eyes and a mouth full of sharp teeth. Last I saw, it was headed to the cave further up the hill. The fragrant Pasheroni. Raz is glad to see you safe. Hello, Raz. I didn't know you were back in Merryvale. Well, yes. Come, let Raz lead you to safety. Very well. But do not think you can just slip away again. We have much to talk about. To distract those farmers for quite a while. Intruder! Quick, Dolor, kill them at once! Dark moons, a Daedra. Oh, Raz hates those things. <laughs> Raz knew something was sour in Sweet Maryvale. Well, at least we know what happened to the missing farmhands. But why does a Daedra care about moon sugar? Then it is likely this mage must have summoned the Daedra. Wouldn't be too surprising if he was behind the missing moon sugar as well. Raz was able to question Jadathol while you dealt with our large friend over there. Our neighbor has also lost moon sugar this season, yet has seen no thieves. Let us return to Mother's farm and examine her storage cellar. If Mazum and Jadathal have been robbed, then Mother is likely the next target. And with luck, her cellar will show evidence of the theft. Despite Mazum and Jadathal's vigilance, the thieves we seek were never seen. Raz means to discover just how this is possible. There they are! Moons be praised. Thank you both. Because of your help, this one's family is safe. Raz is so pleased to see you and your daughters unharmed. All three of your daughters. Yes, Raz. And all three of us have been talking quite a bit about you. Specifically, how you seem to have made certain promises to all of us. Do you remember, Razamdar? Oh, this one will love you forever. This one will come back for you soon. This one only has eyes for you. What? Raz, is, is this true? Now, now. Raz can explain everything.
Let us search for signs of thievery. And if Rose's family decides to poke their snouts in, ignore them. The less attention we give, they will leave. Raz sees nothing out this of the ordinary. This is where you search for the farmhands? Our cellar? What? Are they hiding in the walls? No clues to be found here, it seems. Hmm. That is a rather ornate tapestry for this cellar. Mother, what? did you hang this? No, of course not. Would mother be trying to impress the cellar rats? A secret passage, eh? Raz thought he felt a draft in here. Just as Raz suspected, these caverns extend below the entire valley. Farmers used them to store tools and equipment before there was a series of cave-ins. They've been abandoned for decades. Raz was thinking the same thing. Given the size of these caverns, the thieves could have quite a large operation. Best if we move ahead quickly and see what we can find. here intruders oh you're going to get in trouble why you certainly have a lot of eyes and they're different colors too fancy that would you mind untying me itchy itchy and I just can't scratch don't know why Steve has tied me up he's a mean mean mage I'm a smuggler I'm smuggling. Well, at the moment I'm tied up, obviously. We're making skooma, see? Lots of skooma. Only I tripped into a barrel. Clumsy me. And now I am feeling so good. Besides the itching, of course. And Sivas tying me up. Boss man! He does all sorts of nasty things. Summons Daedra, steals from the kitty farmers, ties me up. You should give him a talking to. He's down in the caverns somewhere. Oh, he'll be mad that you're here, though. <laughs> really, <laughs> really mad! The cave's branch here. You should follow the corridor while Raz takes this side passage. We'll meet up farther ahead. I left Cyrodiil for a few pieces of gold. We need to double our production. A time for stealth and subterfuge is ending. 
Soon we will launch a raid on the farm. There you are, Five Claw. Time to put an end to this skooma operation, yes? Quite the investigation, yes? We infiltrated a heavily patrolled farmstead, saved three beautiful damsels, and dismantled the skooma operation. All in all, not a bad day's work. Ah, yes. Mother's docile screeching can lull Raz to sleep. Now, this one suspects that Mother would try to cheat you if you ask her for payment. So here. A reward from Raz's own pockets. Aren't you a lucky one? Well, it seems you're good for something, at least. Good for something? Raz took down an entire skooma operation for Jode's sake. Razumda, sir, I have an urgent message for you from Queen Irem. A message for Raz? Ah, who would waste the paper on him? Raxarko, shush. Queen Irem? Razum, what is he talking about? Raz's next assignment. It seems this one's vacation is over, Mother. Already? But you only just arrived. 
Well, Raz could stay for one last meal before he departs. And letters? Will you write us letters? <laughs> Doesn't Raz always? Hidea did not think Razum would be leaving so soon. But it seems he has important matters to attend to. Who is Kidea to deny the High Elf Queen? This one wonders, what exactly does her son do for the Queen? Yes, perhaps it is time to stop assuming the worst of this one's rascal. Easy as that may be, Kidea will cook a nice dinner for her family tonight. Some fresh salmon sprinkled with moon sugar, perhaps. Just the way Razum likes it. Raxargo never gets letters from tiny elves. Why does brother get to have all the fun? Seems that duty calls, thank the moons. Raz does not know if he would have survived another day with his oh-so-beloved family. Still, he can at least stay for one more meal. This may come as a surprise, Five Claw. But Raz has never been particularly fond of small town life. The first opportunity this one had to leave, he took it. He still remembers that day. And is very thankful for it. Let's just say that it involved a certain high elf noble seeking adventure, three bottles of whiskey, and a small fire. Well, a large fire. But it was quickly contained. Irene certainly wasn't the queen back then, but Raz speaks too much, no? Perhaps he will tell you the tale another time, when there is far more wine and far fewer mothers about. 